Let's get back to the conflict between Israel and Hamas now reaching the 10 day mark. And as we mentioned, there's a humanitarian crisis going on in the Gaza Strip. Folks there are running out of food and water. We told you how tens of thousands have been fleeing to the border with Egypt and Israeli troops. Meanwhile, encompassing the Gaza border, preparing for a potential ground offensive. Wanted to get some greater insights here. We want to bring in award winning journalist Martin Fletcher to talk about uh, his perspective here. We know that um, Martin, you served as NBC's longtime Tel Aviv bureau chief and correspondent, oftentimes reporting from the Israeli border in Gaza. So you have an extensive knowledge on this region from your time on the ground. I guess one question that folks primarily might have here. What is the way forward here? Is there an end game? Is it even possible to fully take out Hamas? I, I don't think so, Vanessa. Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu has promised his people that they're going to destroy Hamas, that they're going to kill the leaders, that they're going to bring peace to that, to that border. Realistically, realistically, it ain't going to happen. You know, the maximum really that Israel can hope to achieve is to weaken Hamas, to kill many of the fighters, maybe to kill some of the leaders. But ultimately, they're going to have to continue to deal with Hamas in Gaza because Hamas is not just a group of people who can be killed and then and then that's the end of it. You know, they're an idea, they're an expression of what the Palestinians people want. Not all of the Palestinians in, in Gaza support Hamas by a long way, but many do. So Hamas is going to continue to be around, maybe weakened. So I think that must be ultimately the the realistic end game of Israel, to weaken Hamas and then hope to manage Gaza somehow keep them quiet in the way that the, in the way that Israel can live next to them. But on the other hand, that's the way it's been for the last decade. And Israel's policy was pretty much that, manage Hamas, weaken them and manage them. It hasn't worked, as we've just seen. And now Israel has to uh, take the game forward, which is to apparently invade Gaza with a gigantic um, land invasion and firing also, they say, from the sea and the air. So there's going to be a lot of damage in Gaza, a lot of dead people, a brutal, brutal attacks. And we don't know how much it's really going to achieve yet, Vanessa. Oh, goodness. Well, I, I wish we had time for more questions. Unfortunately, we got to leave it there, but we certainly appreciate all the insights that you could share here. 